Hello everybody, my name is Lisa McManus uh, from Shine Play Therapy and I am a play therapist and filial play parent coach. Uh, my role is to um, help professionals and families, uh, children and teenagers, um, who are struggling with uh, their feelings. Um, and I've been trained in a very special way to play with, create with, connect with, uh, be with, listen to children and teenagers. Um, and in an aim to help them to feel better over time. Um, a bit like a doctor might help you with your physical hurt, my job is to help children and teenagers with their emotional hurt. So today I'm going to talk to you a bit about feelings and emotions and how they may have been affected lately over the last year or so. Um, and I'm going to uh, give you some activities that you can use to help yourself feel better, more relaxed, more calm. Um, so let's have some fun. So since COVID began, I noticed that many more children are having much bigger feelings um, much more frequently. Um, and it's causing them to think or act or behave in different ways than they maybe thought or acted or behaved before. Um, and that's because, uh, not for all people, but for a lot of people, um, the coronavirus pandemic has been traumatic, okay? Um, and what is trauma? It's a person's emotional response to something really, really difficult or scary. And it causes us to have lots of different feelings. Um, and sometimes we need a little bit of help with these feelings. So today we're going to give you some techniques that you can use at school or at home uh, by yourself or with other people that can help you to um, feel more relaxed and calm. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce you to some of my friends from the Inside Out movie. Some of you may recognize them. So this is fear. This is fear. And fear gets scared a lot. Uh, he worries a lot. He has lots of anxiety. Um, sometimes he runs away and sometimes he hides. Um, and what fear needs is lots of reassurance, um, some encouragement, and for someone to have lots of patience with him. So that's fear. Next we have anger. So anger gets aggressive quite a bit. He does a lot of shouting and screaming. Um, he hits out uh, um, quite a lot. Um, and other people notice anger quite a bit as well. Um, what anger needs is for someone to show him some empathy and show them that they understand how he feels. So next we have Joy. Um, Joy shows people how happy she is, even if she's not all that happy on the inside. Um, Joy is a really lovely person um, and she likes to please others. And what Joy really needs is for someone to ask her uh, what she really wants or what she really likes. And next we have disgust. So this is disgust. And disgust thinks lo lots of negative things about herself. Um, sometimes she might say, I'm, I'm not pretty or I can't do this or whatever it is. Um, sometimes she ruins things for herself or for other people. Um, and what disgust really uh, needs is reminders of how great she actually is. And then we've got sadness. Um, sadness feels unhappy a lot of the time. Um, looks really sad, doesn't she? Um, and what sadness really needs is for someone to ask her if she wants to play or to hang out or to be her friend, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna give you some, um, some useful strategies that you can use, um, or that these guys use to help them to feel better, okay? So let's start off with fear, okay? So fear uses breathing techniques to help him to feel less scared, okay? So let's see, let's go for this one, so fear. So I'm going to get you to join in, everybody, okay? So when the ball opens up, you're going to breathe in, and when it closes down, you're going to breathe out. So let's do it three times together. Ready? Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. And out. Okay, so that's something you can try at school, at home, anywhere. Okay, uh, next we have anger. Well, 
anger really likes to do when he's feeling really angry is to move. He likes to move a lot. So sometimes he jumps a lot, sometimes he does cartwheels, sometimes he spins, uh, kicks football, sometimes he uh, does star jumps as well. Okay, so movement really helps anger to uh, feel calm. Okay, and next we have joy. Oops, sorry, disgust. So joy, joy really likes to do things she enjoys, okay? And they ma make her feel better. So joy really likes to paint. She loves painting. She likes to play ball. And she also likes to read stories. So she really likes to read and those help her relax and feel a bit calmer. Thank you, joy. Okay, sadness then. Sadness really likes talking to people or playing with people, okay? So who do you talk to, Sadness? So sometimes she talks to her parents uh, or her granny. Um, sometimes she uh, talks to maybe a professional like your, her teacher or maybe someone like me um, or a friend. Okay, so Sadness likes to talk to people or play with others to help herself feel a bit less sad. What I really like to do, I really like to use nature, okay? So I like to go for a walk in the forest or the woods, in a field, or sometimes I really like to go to the beach and collect some lovely shells if I can find them. Uh, what else can we do? We can use our senses as well. So we can uh, use our eyes to look at things. These are really calming. Okay, and really easy to make. You can make these at home. Uh, what else can we use? Um, we can use our ears to listen to things, indoors or outdoors. That helps us to calm down. And touchy-feely things like fidgets, slimes, all those kinds of things help our, us to soothe our body and our minds. Okay, so I have created some activities that you can take part in in, your, in, in school, in your classroom. Um, to practice some of these um, um, regulation strategies, okay? So the first one is some positive affirmations like disgust, actually we forgot about her, okay? So she does positive affirmations. Um, so she says things like, um, I am beautiful, or I can do this, or I'm a good listener. So those are positive affirmations. They are, she's telling herself her strengths and recognizing the good things about her. So that's one of your activities that you're gonna do within your classroom. Um, you're gonna draw a picture of your, your best self in a mirror, and then you're gonna write or stick some words around your picture to describe all the good things about you. Okay, so the second activity um, is an outdoor nature hunt and you're gonna use your senses to do that, a bit like I was talking about senses earlier. Um, so you're going to go outside and you're going to use your senses to find things, okay? So you're gonna find one, actually you're gonna notice one emotion that you feel. You're gonna maybe look for two things you can smell, three things you can uh, see, okay? So it's all on your worksheet and you can have a look um, and have fun with it, okay? Uh, so that's our video uh, finished for today. Before we go, I want to thank the Struhl Arts Centre for asking me to be um, involved in this. It's lovely to know that we can support so many children locally, um, as Shine Play Therapy have been doing for years. Um, and I want to thank your school and your teacher and all you, you kids for um, joining in as well. And I hope you have fun during the, the next six weeks doing this programme. Okay, thank you.